Let's have a conversation about the disunity uh, in the NPP. And I've been joined by Dr. Kwesi Amacho Boateng, his political science lecturer with the History and Political Science Department of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Grateful for your time, Ms. Amacho, uh, Dr. Amacho Boateng. First, we've seen a break away from Alan Tremantin because of some internal disunity. And now this brewing up because of who becomes a running mate and you've had all the complaints coming from there. What are the implications of all of this for the party in the upcoming elections? Uh, thanks for the opportunity and let me say good afternoon to your viewers. Actually, the party is not in good shape at all, preparing for an election that is taking place at the back of you know, economic uh, challenges in the country, uh, which has pushed the nation to go in for an IMF loan, which will definitely come with austere economic uh, policies. Then you have this sort of uh, challenges in the party coming up. Actually, it has been brewing all the time. You know, it came to a head with the presidential primaries, where if, if you like, um, Decisions had been made, and if you like, they had to go through the elections to create an impression that you know, democratic procedures were followed. And, and the outcome became public. Alan, you know, cried foul. Uh, Mr. Boache Jakun cried foul. And at the end of the day, Alan, for example, has come out and he's now leading a movement to also become uh, the president. And interestingly, he's operating in Ashanti region, the party's stronghold, too. The party's regional structures now are demonstrating that there have been cracks in it all the time. You know, one issue came up long ago. There's this gentleman, Osiche, uh, who was uh, the party's uh, uh, one of the major uh, spokespersons of the party. And, you know, information came out that he has been nicely replaced. People were disaffected by that. Well, they decided to let it go. And eventually, you have six of the regional uh, executives coming out with these uh, cases that they have put out against the regional chair. So the indication is that all is not well with the party. There are problems with leadership. And, you know, apart from the national challenge, which took out uh, Alan Chamati, the region also has been, if you like, uh, uh, trying to, you know, present a, a unified face. But, the problems are there. How is it going to fare for the party? A lot of things are simply not working right. I think with democratic elections, economic matters come first. But then when you have such divisions in your own party and people you know, strongly come up against you know, party leadership, definitely it also breaks ranks and it creates disaffection. It leads to apathy. So uh, we have a strong case that you know some people are, are going to remain apathetic and this might also affect you know the turnout when you know come uh, December 7th. Mm. But but let's talk about this running mate issue which is also part of the reason we are seeing some of these kinds of uh, um, confusion if you like. Uh, there's been names like Jose Wusu who is the first deputy speaker of parliament. There's been names like Matthew Opoku Prempe, energy minister. We've had names like Eslo Wusu. We've had um, or say Chairman Sabun, so the former majority leader in parliament. What are your sources telling you? I mean, what, where is it pointing at? Uh, the whole thing actually seems to be revolving around two main individuals, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, then Dr. Uh, Adichun of uh, the Education Ministry. Um, the understanding on the ground is that these are the front runners. And, and 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 the two you know have their following strong following here in Ashanti region and that uh, they're waiting on the national leadership if you like to come out with one of them they believe that people believe that in fact uh, my sources from the party tell me that you know the whole thing is around the two gentlemen Okay, so it, it sets in that it, uh, the running may definitely will come from the Ashanti region. Is that is that correct? That has been my understanding all the time, given the fact that you know generally you have apathy in the Shanti region. Uh, Joy News, your reporters were here some time ago, and people openly on TV 
you know, spread their disappointment and openly, you know, uh, give us indications that some of them were not going to participate in the elections at all. The other time when the majority leader himself came to his constituency, we saw what happened. And Abdul too has visited the Ashanti region and on one occasion he was tweeted at. This is simply unheard of because there were times when Anadu visited Kumasi, you know, market women laid the path, you know, his path with their clubs for him to walk on. So when it turns around that the same person comes and then now people are hooting at him, then you can really tell what has happened to the region. And so you have these issues here, but that notwithstanding, we hope that uh, the selection of the running mates, you know, might help uh, ginger some people. This is one reason that for me, uh, the party will do itself a lot of good to focus on Ashanti region for the running mate. They will also want to counter the alarm factor. Grateful for your time, Dr. Kwesi Amachebwate. He's a political science lecturer with the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Let's get on.